Hello everyone, welcome to day 31st of August Lead Code Challenge and today is the last day. Let's look at today's question. Find minimum in rotated sorted array. The question says we are given a rotated sorted array. A rotated sorted array is an array which is sorted in nature also rotated about a particular point and we need to find out the minimum element that exists in that rotated sorted array. We need to write the algorithm in order of n log n time because in order of n time it's pretty straightforward you iterate through the complete array and uh, you are basically finding out the minimum one out of it. You are not using the property of uh, that the array is sorted in nature also rotated. So there are few takeaways from this description. The first one being the array is rotated and sorted. Second one being we need to solve it in log n time. So whenever you see these two aspects that the array is sorted and we need to solve it in log n time, the solution to go about is by using binary search. Make it a thumb rule whenever you see a sorted array and log n time complexity, no matter what binary search will be getting applied in some form or the other. Just remember this through your entire life. I haven't seen ever that we are solving a question in log n time for a sorted array, which is without using the binary search approach. So without much ado, let's look, move on to the presentation. Find minimum in rotated sorted array lead code 130, 153. And I have taken a slightly bigger example. Uh, and in this example, uh, I have elements starting from the 0th index up till the 14th index. As you can see, uh, these are the numbers 125, 152, 40, 50, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 94, 97, 96, 98, 99, 100. And the array is rotated about the second index. We need to return 2 as an index in the answer. And the value held at this element is also 2 by coincidence. I hope all of you are already aware of the binary search technique in general. Uh, you find out the middle point, you compare it with the target element that you are trying to figure out. If the target element is uh, lower than your current middle point, you reduce your high end uh, to mid minus one. Otherwise, you increase your lower end to mid plus one. Let's take two pointers. The first one being the low pointer. L O W and the other being other one being the high pointer represented by H and what we are going to do we will evaluate the middle pointer what is the middle pointer the middle pointer is 0 plus 14 by 2 which is 7 so mid points to here in this case and what you see here is that the middle element happens to be lower than the highest element the higher element so this simply signifies that the elements that lie in the range of fr starting from the middle element up till the higher element are sorted in nature and the minimum one in this complete array will be at 90. So the minimum one will be at 90 across this complete array and we can simply discard this part of the array. So once we have discarded this part of the array, what we are going to do will update the high pointer to the mid pointer because this is already discarded. So now high points to this particular position. Let me just change the color of pen and let's take red. Let's repeat the same thing again. Now low points to zero, high points to seven. What is the middle element? Middle element would be 0 plus 7 by 2. 0 plus 7 by 2 turns out to be 3 and this becomes the middle element. And you can see that again the middle element is lower than the highest element. The element at the high h index. That simply means that you can simply discard this complete array as this array is sorted in nature and the lowest element in this array will be at the third index. So you are resetting the high pointer to 3. Let's repeat the same process again. 
let me just change the color of pen again for the third iteration and let's take gray this time yeah so low points to zero high points to three and what is the middle element zero plus three by two is one so this turns out to be one and what do you see in this case so this is a different case the value at the middle element happens to be greater than the highest element so what are you going to do in this case you can simply discard the left part of the array this part of the array because this part will be sorted so what i'm trying to say is this that all the elements starting from the lowest element up till the mid element will be sorted in nature because we know that here there is a mismatch and the minimum element will surely lie over here because there is only one middle element and you are going to see a dip very soon because the middle element is greater than the high the h end the high end therefore we can simply discard all the elements starting from the lowest index up till the middle point and what we are going to do in this case we will simply update low to mid plus 1 so what is mid mid is 1 so low gets updated to mid plus 1 and low now points to this particular case high points to 3 and low points to 2 let's change the color of pen for the fourth iteration and let's take magenta now low is at 2 uh, high is at 3 what is the middle element the middle element happens to be again equal to 2 plus 3 by 2 is 2 so mid also points to this particular index and what do you see that a mid happens to be lower than that of the high pointer the value at the high pointer which is 40 2 is lower than 40 that means you are gonna reduce your high to point to mid so high now points to mid you have simply discarded this part of the array and what do you see now that the low entry is also pointing to the high entry and you abort the process as soon as you abort the process you simply return the index uh, where uh, this abortion condition has been has met which is 2 and the element would be at that particular index how can we validate what is the time complexity of this approach you can see that with every iteration we are either giving up on the right part of the array or the left part of the array so every time we have a choice or a decision to make and we make the decision depending upon uh, what is the value of mid and what is the value at the higher index therefore since you are discarding one part of the array over the other uh, the time complexity turns out to be log n had we not able to discard any portion of the array the time complexity would have still remain order of n without much ado let's look at the coding section first thing that i have done here is to define two pointers low and high and low is initialized to zero high is initialized to the last index of the nums array till the time my low is less than high i evaluate the middle index if my middle index happens to be lower than that of the higher index or equal to the higher index i simply update my high pointer to point to mid because i can discard the right portion of the array otherwise i am discarding the left portion of the array and i update my low pointer to mid plus one once i am through this loop low points to mid at the abortion condition and that value will hold the minimum out of the complete array and we simply return uh, nums of low let's try this up there is some compilation error low sorry for this accepted this brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. See you tomorrow with another fresh question.